the main man himself, Matt Jobs, here with BBB. You alright, mate? I am. Long time no see. Yeah, no. Been a while. You just said they're full of busy. It's uh, non stop for you at the minute, isn't it? It is, I. Um, it's just but it's the way I like it, you know. So, nice and busy. Well, it is, isn't it? Like, how have you found it so far? The promotional side of things? There's been a few shows now, and obviously more to come. Um, it's, it's been an eye opener. Um, obviously. Uh, find out the other side of the coin uh, rather than just being in the gym and training fighters and managing them. But uh, it's, it basically was the, the next step that I've always wanted to do anyway. So um, it just means I know the fact the lads that I'm training are going to get well looked after and they're going to get looked after all in one house rather than uh, going to fill up the post. Um, but that's not to say like, we didn't work with any other promoters because we do, you know, we're a good relationship with Phil. Um, and we look like we're going to put shows on together in the future again. So it's, um, you know, I've got a good bond with Phil. So um, it's just good for us taking our gym and our setup really to the next level, really. It's interesting you said there at the start, obviously, it was a bit of an eye opener, even for someone who's been in the sport as long as you have, to then just how much effort and sort of it takes to get to that next level, as you've said there. Like, is there anything in particular that causing you a bit more stress, a few more grey hairs? Um, I think, it, it, I think at the moment it's, it, we just it's the lack of the lack of boxers um, for matchmaking and things like that. It's just isn't the, the just isn't the journeymen up there like there were a few years ago, you know? Is that partially down to COVID or is it just a sort of trend within boxing that was happening anyway? I, I think I think a little bit of both, but I think as well now COVID has been a massive big part on the on, on everything in the world really and I think it just been a knock on effect on this as well. Um, so but it's it's made fighters if they're really serious about fighting. Um, take a little bit of gambles. Force their hand a little bit to take the harder fights. I mean we saw that and you you show obviously at the Hilton end of last year it was <laughs> several debutants but not in easy fights by any means. Well, I, I was open and honest with all the fighters that I've seen and I've told them um, like, it will not be any easy matches, it will be like, there will be people come to win um, and the lads I've got and the lasses I've got at the minute, they, they, they want to be successful in the sport um, and I think it's about moving them and giving them the right matches at the right time. It's boxing at the end of the day and if anything can happen in boxing we know that but it, at the end of the day, these fighters yeah. want to have a career in the sport. And they're not going to get much of a career if they're hanging around on four rounders. Like, the, um, people who are just coming to stand there be a punch bag, basically. You know, they're not going to they're not going to move their careers on. And we've said this before. Like, we've seen it firsthand as well as like prospect against journeymen and this, they go the four rounds and they'll do that for half a dozen fights or whatever. And you think you've been a pro for two years and. Yeah, they're supposed to be learning fights, but what you actually learn, you probably learn more in a competitive sparring session than some of the fights. Whereas, I've, I, if you're going to put them in against people who win or want to win, they're going to learn more in two rounds against them than the would otherwise. And definitely, I think um, win, lose, or draw, they're still going to take more from that. And obviously, yes, no fighter wants to lose. You don't want the losses on your record, etc. But. If you're not there to hang around, there's no point padding the record. Do you, do you know what it is as well? Like everybody is, everybody as well is that desperate sometimes to hang on to that. Um, you know, if you get beat, learn from it. And come, and like a lot of people come back stronger from a defeat. Um, it, 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 in a, as a coach and as a manager, it gives you a, a little bit of understanding sometimes of your, your boxer that you're actually training. Because if they're winning all the time and they're winning quite easy and there isn't much coming back at them, you're not getting a true reflection of your fighter. Um, because sometimes what you see in a sport, you're not going to get the opportunity to see actually in competition. Um, so for somebody to take a loss and come back and put it to bed and say that's not going to happen again to us and have the right attitude is, is like you're starting to understand the character of your boxer that you're training. And without putting you on the spot too much, is that the sort of reaction you've seen from Sam Wallace since yes. coming back into the gym? Yeah, uh, Sam. Um, for me, that would have been. He was he was like a minute away from an absolutely perfect debut. He boxed absolutely exceptional. Um, he felt great himself. He says, and uh, just walked onto one, basically. Um, 
Uh, I still think the stoppage was a bit soft as well, um, but you know, now you've got to think the box has safety, so um, it's one of them things, isn't it? But and, and that's it, I think it's, it highlights the fine margins in the sport at, at any level, like it can be that one shot that is yeah. the difference between yeah. a win and a loss as yeah, it was. Remember that was, he was near like journeyman or, or somebody coming in just to, to get a PD and get home, you know, he knew he was coming in to win the fight himself. So there were a few surprises I got on that so card, the matchmaking as you say, it, it lives up to what you just said there about it being competitive and, and no easy fights. <laughs> there were a few names on the in the away corner you think, oh actually, they yeah. could potential banana skin for inexperienced fighters and yeah. obviously so it proved. Yeah, it's um, as well it's it's like I say, it's we're getting the balance right. And every one of every one of the boxers who box on that show were quite happy uh, when we sat down and discussed with opponents to take them opponents. Um, I think nine times out of ten, sorry to interrupt there, the boxers will be happy with that. It's yeah. it's often the trainers or the managers that are the ones holding them back a little bit and, and trying to build that like pad that record, yeah. but obviously it's not happening here. Yeah. Um, it's it, if they've been a good lad, right? And they're doing the job right as well. If people are throwing shots back at you, right, it makes you more alert, you know, and they and they disrespect to to the lad that, that, that beat Sam but realistically in the fight he was struggling. You know, Sam was in total control and I think at the end I think Sam just switched off a little bit. Um, and he and he held his feet when I tell him not to aim right onto one and it, that's boxing at the end of the day, you know, and that, but that lad knew he had to do something in that last round as well. Yeah, the desperation it, setting in, a, he's got to put was, a bit more on. It was a class, it was a, a class debut up until that moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Sam's got to take the, the positives out of that fight, which he has, um, and he'll come back, I think he'll come back even stronger. I've seen that uh, in the gym since then, you know, so. Yeah. And taking the, the positives from all the lads and lasses in the gym, if you had to say one to look out for, who would you pick? I'll not tell the others. Um, I've, honestly, I've, I'll, I've got good things for all of them. Um, you know, uh, like Rigo, he, he's 20 years of age. You know, now he looks like uh, like a 30 year old. Um, I'll definitely but, be telling them that. But he's, 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 he's 20 years of age, his maturity is beyond his years. Um, you know, that was a big debut for him uh, on that show. He hadn't boxed for two and a half years due to COVID. Huge support as well uh, from. Yes, um, and he had his crowd there, he had family there, which he hadn't seen for a while as well. So, uh, you know, in the changing rooms, I had to like, pull him off the ceiling sort of thing, you know, to keep his adrenaline um, in control. But, like I say, he, he, he was boxing brilliant, then he come back in the corner for the third run, says, My legs have gone over, and like, obviously that's adrenaline. You know, so completely great, dumped. Great performance on his debut against the lad who's unbeaten. So uh, once again, it just shows it shows the lads the commitment to the sport and what they want out of it. You know, and for him being such a young fighter, um, I think he's got like a good career ahead of him. Hopefully, um, the start of some good things for you and him. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then we've got Nathan, who unfortunately um, was struggled in before Christmas. Had to get a match at the last minute. We had so many pullouts for that. Uh, but he, he had made his debut on the MTK show, which um, he boxed absolutely brilliantly as well. Yeah, you know, so he, he, the future looks bright for, for Nathan as well. Um, and then we've got like of Andy Simpson, who unfortunately is out injured at the moment, uh, and Raymond. Um, I'm expecting good things off Andy as well, because Andy's looked absolutely dynamite in, uh, in his training you know, until he got injured. Um, and also we've got uh, Laura Wilson coming on board as well. Um, so we're busy going to do her paperwork. Um, I've got a lad coming over from the kickboxing background as well. He's turning pro with us, uh, Drew Miller. And um, I've got a lad who boxed for his amateur as well, Victor Seeker, um, who's busy waiting to get his medical. Yeah, I spoke well. with him last time he was in the gym. Yeah. So basically, there's a, there's a lot of talent there um, waiting to come through as well. Spot on, Matt. Thank you very much for your time, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Pleasure as ever.